Whoa, you can answer these difficult problems? You're amazing! Thanks. Uh, I guess I can do my intro. What's up, Manga Knights? Welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. Last time, we took Kamoshida's treasure and beat the crap out of him, too. I was looking forward to that. And now we just kind of got to go through our day until we see if he has a change of heart. We go to school tomorrow, so let's see if that's going to be the case. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just studying. You know, got to get your grades up and all that. Knowledge is pretty useful, too. All of these social stats are useful, as you're going to need them to get through some stuff. Kind of annoying, but, you know. Have you seen Kamoshida? No, not once. You really think he changed? I really hope so, man. Well, yeah. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, uh, Kawakami. The study hall will be held in Stutter PE today. I'm letting you know, just in case you haven't heard. Mr. Kamoshida has taken the day off. He ain't here? Don't tell anyone that you heard this from me. But we received word that Mr. Kamoshida is placing himself under suspension. Suspension? It's such an important time before the tournament, too. Principal Kobayakawa went to talk to him about it, but he supposedly wasn't making any sense. Wait, a suspension? Why the hell are you screaming, dude? It talks about you or expulsions may be put on hold, too. I don't know too much about it, though. Anyway, I've relayed what's going on to you. Uh, thanks, Kawakami. The hell she's so noisy? Like something happened. The hell she's so noisy, nosy for, man? At least it sounds different from a mental shutdown. Yeah, I mean, at least he ain't dead, right? I guess all we can do is wait. Man, this place brings back memories. This is my secret training spot. Er, was. Back when I was on the track team. Actually, I've been thinking about trying to run again. Damn it. Fighting in that other world was a total shock. I couldn't move like I used to. It just felt lame. So I started thinking, maybe I need to build up my muscles again. Anything's gotta be better than this flimsy body, right? Plus, maybe then I'll be able to help out a little more. You seem pretty excited, Ryuji. Yeah. Hell yeah! I'm looking forward to this! Anyway, you gotta act like it's only me who's gonna be doing this. Oh, Viv. You're getting in on it too. Come on, man. Whoa, don't look so surprised. Why'd you think I had to go had to go and change like that? I'm fucking up so much. It'd be pointless if I was the only one getting super fast, right? Alright, I'm gonna do some knee lift sprints. You're stuck with the normal ones. Wait, wait, what? I ran around the school with Ryuji. God damn. Damn. My legs are all tight. Before Kamoshida came along, the track team was the biggest thing this school had going for it. But it all changed after he got our coach fired and took over as a sub. Damn it. Bastard. Right from the very start, he was trying to get rid of us. He'd give us crazy workouts, and then when we couldn't do them, he'd add even more on top of that. Day after day was nothing but that bullshit. He was going after me specifically. He knew. He knew I was the kind of guy who'd fight back. <clears throat> if my time dropped even a little, he cussed me out. And on top of that, he brought up my parents. And then you punched him? Uh, truth is, my mom's the only one I got. All my dad did when he was still around was drink. Sometimes he even beat me or my mom. I don't know how that bastard Kamashita found out, but he told the whole goddamn team. And as you can guess, I lost it and hit him. It was like he wanted me to do it, though. He called it an act of violence and shut the team down. Thanks to that, the other guys on the team treat me like some kind of traitor. And they ain't wrong. Because of me, they lost their shot at the championship. You want to get back into that? 
to the track team? Nah, how could I after that? Come on, don't ask me tough questions like that. I'm not very smart, you know. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter now. It's all in the past. I'm only thinking about the future now. That's what we're gonna do. Build the future. You gotta think positive thoughts, brother. Hey, I agree with you wholeheartedly, man. I feel like my bond with Ryuji's growing deeper. I... I've played Ryuji's story to full completion. And I love it. I absolutely love it! Come on, we're all roamed up, alright? How about another run? By the way, you're actually pretty good at running. Not as good as me, though. Holy crap. My leg's shaking. Don't collapse on your way home, man. See ya. Later. Most of these are gonna end in the same way, with you walking home. Sup? You get home okay? You didn't trip or anything. Man, I'm so out of shape. I feel like I could barely drag my damn legs up the station steps. This would never have happened back then. I should have kept up my running. Are your legs okay? I mean, I don't want to ruin them. Yeah, they've gotten better to the point that I can actually run at least. But it brings back bad memories, so I've been kind of avoiding it. Pretty rusty, but even if it got kind of rough, I had fun. And with you here, I get some friendly competition too. Plus we get to talk. So yeah, I'll catch you later. See ya. And then just like that, we're back in LeBlanc. I went to see Shiho today. I told her we settled things with Kamoshida. She still hasn't regained consciousness, but I had to go make amends. What do you mean? You didn't do anything wrong, huh? Right, Ren? Huh? It's not your fault that she's like this now. But I wasn't there when she needed help. I'm a failure as a friend. I have to do all I can to make up for that, starting now. Otherwise, I don't think I'll be able to move on. Man, I didn't know you were so passionate. Totally didn't notice that back in middle school. I think it's because of you guys. I'm a little embarrassed, though. Anyways, Ryuji, congrats. I hope we can keep fighting each other. Helping, not fighting, damn it! <laughs> so, getting used to the city? Not really. Not being able to go out's kind of a hindrance. I see. You're the only one here at night, so I'm not gonna bother setting a curfew or anything like that. So long as you take it school seriously, I don't mind if you stroll the streets in the evenings. FINALLY! But only around these parts, got it? Go back on your word, I'll kick you right out. FINALLY! Oh god! I can finally go out at night! Ugh. Whatever, we got something with Sojuro and I want to do this. Hey. You don't work, you don't eat. Ever heard that phrase before? If you're up for it, why don't you learn how to work here? That is just something you can do. This is going to be really good. I want to show you what happens if you get Sodro's bond up. It's about time one of the regulars arrives. She's a talkative one. Well, now then, since you're going to be working in my store, I'll need to hammer home the basics. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, making coffee, right? Yep. Glad to see you at least understand that much. This store is not the busiest around, but I'm real particular about how we do things here. And I'll kick you out, no questions asked if you serve a bad cup. Got that? Let me tell you, Sochan. Definitely does things right with his coffee. It goes so well with his special curry, I can't help but order the set meal every time. What can I say? Each of my regulars gets an experience personally tailored to them. Finally! Sorry about that, I had to deal with some groceries. Can you tell me the key that's so, to that so wonderful flavor, Sochan? I'd love to make it at home sometime. I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. You're free to try and guess based on, on the taste, though. Cheapskate, keeping secrets from me even though you know your food's already stolen my heart. How about a nice dessert, then? It's only 300 yen. In a shop, you get all sorts of customers. Knowing their personalities is absolutely vital. That's what being in food service is all about. Alright, not bad. 
Welcome. Whoa. You. Hello there. It's been quite a while, Sufferer Chan. I said Chan by accident, damn it. I heard you opened up a shop, so here I am. Wouldn't it hurt. It wouldn't hurt much to mention it to me, though. You got a nice location here, too. Right by the station and everything. Your order. No small talk? That's cold. Oh, but the smell sure brings back memories. You're still making that curry, huh? Guess you haven't gotten over her yet. Your order, sir. I'm <laughs> so pushy. I just stopped in to say hi today, but I'll be back again soon. Bye. I don't know where he caught the wind of this place. That guy seemed suspicious, boss. <laughs> Guess you have an eye for some things after all. Anyway, if you have time for questions, you have time to be learning about bean types. You're not going to be any use to me if you can't pick up the ABC sometime soon. Besides, ladies love a guy who knows his coffee. This ain't such a bad deal for you. I don't really care about that stuff, honestly. Come on, you're supposed to play along. That's one of the core tenets of customer service. Either way, I'm gonna teach you right. That way I'll be able to sit back and relax while you work. Uh, all right, boss. Guess I'm learning to make some coffee. No, seriously, you can make coffee. That's what Sojuro gives you. He actually allows you to make coffee. And later on, we'll be able to make curry. This coffee restores SP, so we'll be wanting to make it a lot more often than we should. The only way to make the coffee is by standing at the brewers. Oh, is it time already? Well, oh, let's start closing up. No slacking off, you got it? If you're learning about customer service from Sojuro, I feel like my kindness has improved. And that's what you can get from working at the Frickin' Cafe! Kindness! Pretty cool! Uh, hey, it's me. I guess this number works. I forgot to ask for your cell number, so I had to dig it out of your papers. Real hassle, let me tell you. Anyway, you done closing up yet? I'm gonna have you handle that from now on, so you better learn now. Seems like you're a real quick study, so I hope you got the hang of it. <laughs> Got it, boss. Don't forget it. Once you're a little more settled in, I'm gonna have you doing more chores. Man, not sure how I would feel about calling up a guy's phone. Anyhow, we'll get the routine ground into you. That way, I might be able to take it easy. All right, don't stay up too late. Finally, our first true free day. There's a few things I want to do on this Sunday. And none of them actually involve any confidant stuff. So let's go. First thing we're doing today is heading to this shop, the secondhand shop. Welcome. How can I help you? This secondhand shop allows you to buy some stuff. Just little things here that I don't even know what these are for, but I guess they're meant to be like. Oh, I get it. They're for making infiltration tools. We also have this DVD player. That's going to be pretty useful later on. I'd also like to go over to Doc Takemi, not for any confidant stuff, but to just see if she's got some good medicine. I mean, I could also do this, but then we'd be advanced to evening. You can only do two of these events per day. In spring, one sleeps a sleep that knows no dawn. <sighs> God, I need a nap. Or at least some good old-fashioned coffee in my system. Come to think of it, I might collapse again if I take that medicine. I feel like I need bold guts in order to take that medicine. We need to improve guts in order to do this clinical trial. In order to continue Dr. Kemi's confidant, we need to have guts. I shouldn't suggest a clinical trial. Mm. Clinical trials, huh? It's practically putting your life in her hands. It'd take guts, that's for sure. 
got to be ways you can build up your guts in your daily life. Maybe you can improve your guts by studying the right things at the school library. I guess we'll just try and figure out whatever we can. So, what are you here for today? I'm gonna buy some stuff, so give me a second. Alright, that's all I needed. Next, the airsoft shop, baby. <sighs> this is the only thing I can sell to a kid. We're not here to buy. Okay. Oh, I have no sellable items. Never mind. Let's see what you got in stock there, EOA. Come on now. You got nothing I want. Maybe okay. guns? You got Let's some? Go you got nothing, man! Let's Screw go. you! You got nothing! Well, I can at least show this. Hey, uh. Hey, inmate! What the hell are you two doing here? I was waiting. Our master awaits. Please come this way. Oh, great. Velvet room, here we come. I guess. Hey! Why the hell? Fucking kicking me in Shinigami style. <clears throat> so you've come. How does it feel slipping into the unusual from your usual life? Our master has arranged an access point to assist you in coming here directly from the real world. Huh. That door you just went through is it. Be thankful, inmate. This too shall aid in your rehabilitation. Make good use of it. From now on... Listen up, inmate. Oh, what the hell do you two want? What do you want? We are introducing a new regimen to your rehabilitation in the form of challenge battles. For these trials, we will permit the cognitions of your comrades to fight at your side. <laughs> cry your tears of joy. I'm not going to cry, and if I am, I'm going to make sure you get wet. Depending on your results in combat, you will receive some form of compensation for your efforts. Compensation? Oh, yes, please. Should you prove successful? There is no doubt that you will be rewarded and strengthened in body and mind. We've even prepared a special stage for you to undergo this part of your rehabilitation. Take this opportunity to demonstrate the furthest reaches of the strength you've gained up to now. Should you wish to attempt this at once, we shall oblige you. Thanks, you two. You know, maybe these twins aren't so bad after all. These challenge battles are... Pretty cool? It's sort of weird. Let me show you. Do you need some things? Yeah, I'd like to look at the special battles. These are very interesting. Challenge battles are only... Ac okay, thanks. Challenge battles are only acceptable at certain levels. We have this, which is just the regular trial. An entry level mode that tests combat fundamentals including striking weaknesses, supports, and baton passing. Then we have the chain, a mode where you identify enemy weaknesses and chain baton passes to achieve a high score. This can only... Uh, it's recommended level 20, so we're not doing this at all. Then we have technical, an advanced mode in which you aim for a high score by applying status ailments and scoring technical. Then we have survival, in which there's someone sitting right there. An expert mode in which you aim for a high score by surviving and deterring the enemy's fierce attacks. This is where we start to see references to previous Persona games. I am not aware of any of the characters in previous Personas, but this is the Trickster Mode, a mode that will test masters of all elements of combat, including attacking, guarding, and supporting. Number six is the Full Moon, a special battle against the cognitive echo of a certain Persona user who fought to prevent the fall of humanity. You're essentially fighting against other Persona users, as in the previous game protagonists. I think it's pretty cool. And then we have Foggy Day, a special battle against the cognitive echo of a certain Persona user who dispelled a strange, otherworldly fog. 
don't get me wrong. I'm not all gung ho about this. When I reach when I reach level 50, I might give this a shot. Might is the very important word here. Cause you will not catch me on a good day doing this. If I ever feel the itch, you'll see me battle until my heart breaks. Until then, I have a few persona things I need to do while I'm here, so I'll meet you back in the real world. You can also go to a movie theater. The movie theater, well, depending on the movie playing, you can increase a, a certain stat. And Guts is this movie. I don't have enough yen for a ticket. I've now procured enough money by selling things I don't need to e-way. And now we can buy a movie ticket. This should increase our guts, and I'm honestly hoping it does a good job at that, because I need to increase uh, Dr. Kemi. So much money is just not possible. You must have cheated. No, it wasn't cheating. It was destiny. Okay. It's kind of weird. How does a little kid like him have guts like that? I could, re I could really feel the courage of that boy and his attitude towards life. This kind of stuff increases one stat so hard. Of course, we're nowhere near ready. We even watched the credits all the way to the very end. Alright, let's go home. Because we're about to enter the evening. The evenings start with us entering the block every time. You heard anything about stuff happening to Kamoshida? Nope, not a word. I see. Did something happen? Do I need to come over there? I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of nervous. I keep thinking about how even with everything we did, we might still end up getting expelled. My mom's totally gonna suffer if that happens. Plus, we couldn't even help On or, she, or Suzui. We'll deal with it if we need to. I guess I just gotta accept my fate. Now's not the really the time to be getting pessimistic about all this. Anyways, I'm feeling a little better now that I talked to you about this. Thanks, man. Oh, and don't tell On I was doubting us, okay? She won't have anyone to rely on if we're getting all worried about this shit. Well, see ya. I don't mind if you use the coffee maker. Just clean up when you're done. Yeah, sorry boss. I'm not doing that. Oh, you can't use the... I'm the one who has to lock the door. Just make sure you're not out there for too long, alright? I forgot! <sighs> we were told we couldn't go very far, so I guess that means we gotta enjoy the nightlife in Yongen. Hey, how about we take a peek inside that bathhouse? I probably can't go in there as a cat, though. I saw a sign for a movie theater somewhere as well, and there were some batting cages, too. Mm, there's so many things to do. This is gonna be fun. It would be. Unfortunately, we are stuck in Yongen for the time being. And the movie theater... The movie theater... They're closed. There's a sign posted up inside. Too exhausted to stay open? Exhausted, huh? How much we can do about that. I hope they feel better soon. There's something we can do about this theater. But it's not really anything we can do as of right now. Now, these vending machines. Oh, they only have HP? Fuck you. The ones in Strikers give you SP stuff. Man. I hate the fact that we can't go anywhere. Yeesh. I'm going to increase my proficiency at the batting cages. I think this is the last thing I'm doing today. Batting cages? In a small place like this? What's it like inside? Well, let's take a look. See, just in case. Let's see. So they're doing this on the rooftop? Mm -hmm. I 
haven't seen you here before. In case you didn't know, the services here change depending on the time of day. Yep. This is something you have to do manually. Uh, you can win prizes here during the day. At night there are no prizes, but you can play all you want. Oh, and if you hit three home runs, I'll give you a free a ticket to play during the day. Good deal, right? Want to give it a try? It costs 500 yen to play. How about it? I've got just about enough to do that. Let's see how Good I luck. do it. this. Uh, I've never done this before. It's the ball's expected trajectory. When the ball overlaps with its icon, press A to swing the bat. Try to hit the target for a home run. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on, man. I suck at this. No. I'm bad at reaction time. No. Okay, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm swinging, damn it! No, oh, come! Oh, my... Final! Ugh. Okay. Oh, come on! It seems like Ren automatically swings his bat, and you just have to hit it correctly. You just have to hit the button! Okay, I'm gonna do this a few more times until I get this home run! Okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Wanna give it a try? At night, you can swing all you want. You have to keep playing. Uh, I'm done. I'm fucking done. That's bullshit! We're only offering one course at the moment, but there will be more available once we finish the fine tuning. Wanna head back? Alright, let's head home, I guess. I hate batting cages. Jeez. I was reading the essays you turned in the other day, and everyone's handwriting is so sloppy. I could care less indicates that you still have some cares left to give. It's I couldn't care less. I've seen this a lot these days, where people think using a phrase differently from its real meaning is just correct. It reminds me of something I've been hearing politicians say. My country, right or wrong. They wouldn't be saying it so stubbornly if they knew how it originally was used. Answer this question. All right, Takamaki-san, can you tell me how its meaning has changed? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... Hey, wait! Hey, Lady On is obviously panicking. Be a good guy and help her out. Huh? Um... What is she even talking about? I don't know politics. Crap, hey, Ren, can you give me a hint here? What is that phrase originally meant to convey? My country, right or wrong? Um, country... I think it means you unquestionably support it? Oh, right, like it doesn't matter what they do, you'll always support it. But the original meaning is different, so I guess it'd be something like... You can't change it to pack. I don't know if that's it, let's think about it again. Uh, okay, so that's definitely right. But you don't care about No, come on! I'm getting everything wrong today! Exactly! That is correct. The phrase was originally meant to inspire you to take responsibility for keeping your country on the right path. The full quote is, my country, right or wrong, if right, to be kept right, and if wrong, to be set right. So you can see the original was more tape talking about personal responsibility for your country's future. Unfortunately, these days it's used more to justify blind support instead of actually fixing social issues. Thanks. Wow! I was so not ready for that. You saved me. Thanks a bunch. Since we have confidants with On, by helping her out in class, we actually gain points with her. Pretty cool if you ask me. Nice going! Nice! Lady On seems really relieved. And that actually gives us some charm? I thought that was kindness. Pretty good at studying. I'm impressed. Well, nothing left to do today. Well, technically. I'll be starting the next episode back at LeBlanc. There's 
stuff I want to do that we can't exactly do 100%, but regardless, next time on Persona 5 Royale, we'll be just coasting through life. Depending on how this goes, I might just skip directly to day zero. See you guys then.